Number four. Oops. We can't have two high food back Oh. Oh, that's Mary again. How many people have uh oh, hold on. <laughs> we have to do an inventory check. Okay. We're back. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been two Marys. There were two Marys in here. Tom! <laughs> Yay! Okay, here. Okay. He's already worn me off. I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> How many pages is this? Jesus Christ. At this yearly Yuletide time, I let the to run. And if I do not do it, she will think that it's a crime. So my thoughts turn from the present to those times I think are pleasant. Younger kids on carefree days in our new house in Old Fluorescent. And I think about my peeps. And Christmas lights on top of my jeeps. And got that song by Andy Williams and his chorus gives me creeps. When they sing the jingle bell and mistletoe and I start yelling, turn that goddamn song up now and just get standing and sleep and fail. One time I'm climbing up the tree and then I really have to pee. But I hear father tied to rope and left me there to beg and plead. Oh, go just let me come back down, but there was no one to be found. And then they all sat down to dinner with me high above the ground. Yeah, I really didn't know until later he had done it all on purpose, rest his soul. <laughs> Putting lights upon the bushes while we're freezing off our tushes. Our four extension cords and light electric keep the rope. <laughs> Mama working in the basement, making statues as the days went by so quickly as we played with asbestos on no that <laughs> On our vacation, waiting helps lay this creation of those Fiska Cocker cookies and some other sweet sensations. She would fill the cookie boxes with her chocolate chips and rocks, writing layers in each straw upon the tops until the clock says we can enter in and eat them where you really couldn't beat them. And they will always be the best as no one ever will unseat them. I remember Teresa's pillage as she sat upon the village. That pop made out of, you guessed it, more asbestos. <laughs> So it really is not as fast as his young kids would made it mostly out of plywood. He had colored trees and rivers by the tracks to look oh so good. To a child with a train set, driving trains around the tracks, yet this was just one special Christmas out of many in my brain. But it just wouldn't be disputed to say Mark is still reputed to have pulled the tree down on him and was near electric theater. <laughs> I remember 68, that's when I stayed up very late just to watch three men from Houston read the Bible on that date. As they circled around the moon, I was sobbing in the room by myself in total darkness, knowing sometime very soon men would step upon that place, leaving footsteps of our race in the dust of many eons on that lunar orb surface. Nice. There are more I can remember of those days in late December, sitting in the family room and watching that last burning ember, and I don't think you'll deny it on this fact we can rely. It really wasn't truly Christmas until someone heard Pop cry shit. Diane came in 93, somehow she still puts up with me. She makes it feel so special when we decorate our tree. So I spend yules with my sweetie, and we beg you this entreaty. Let's all keep these good times rolling while we are too old and needy. Now I'll finish up my yapping. I can hear Hub's fingers tapping. I just hope you have enjoyed my stab at goofy Christmas wrapping. You're right, I'm embarrassed. That's awesome. Great. Alrighty. Come over here. Duel. Julius.
conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Two poems, one song. Next poem is called Jingle Belling. <laughs> also not a word. <laughs> Stop it, please, Andy Williams. <laughs> Get a grammar book. <laughs> okay. Last one is called Scary Ghost Story. <laughs> okay. What? On Christmas Day? <laughs> Rather be mistletoeing or jingle belling. <laughs> Christmas from long past through up until now. Thoughts about cookies or siblings, though no punchline of how much is wow. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Wow. Let's see. Pop cut holes in stained glass. Vandals are judges on whom to peek. And do you see what I saw? There's baby Jesus in the creek. <laughs> Buddy boy is outside freezing, wishing he were somewhere else instead of outside hanging Christmas lights with Beetle, a.k.a. Wirehead. <laughs> Wirehead. Yeah, that's what we call Neighbor's it. house is lit with all blue lights, or worse, a yard with flat flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember <laughs> thinking that store-bought stuff is nothing compared to what Pop makes. Um, in school we learned that shepherds were awed to see the star rise. As equally remarkable as Benny Haynes' sisters should have eyes. <laughs> Christmas panic. Just died. Not uh, Christmas panic out the door to nuns and priests and cousins. Mother's cookies in shirt boxes, leaving by the dozens. Oh. Hmm. Right now, my mom's there in the kitchen. <laughs> Sixty kinds of cookies on which to feast. But the holidays were pretty much over when your only option was <coughs> Annie's and East. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh my God. Christmas pears. There's Rudolph and Hermie, and from White Christmas, Bing and Danny. There's red and green, holly and ivy, and bourbon balls and nanny. Tom's <laughs> <laughs> uh, way high in the outside pine, now a star for all to view. Makes me think of someone else. Hint, rookie what you can do. <laughs> um, medieval block set, a hutch, a dollhouse, and a spinner top. It's 3 a.m. Christmas morning. I saw a dusty Poppy in his shop. <laughs> Poppy's upstairs sick in bed. Mommy, we haven't seen. So it's off to breakfast with Aunt Joni and Santa. Or is that Doug Levine? <laughs> <laughs> a handmade bee moves along the calendar, stopping on each date in December. A countdown to Aunt Bee's arrival, who's joined later by Jason, our newest family member. Oh. Oh. Uh, Laura's wooding clothes on clothespins, or as with Daniel and their bouche de Noel. Now the holidays have officially started. Lizzie just came in from Purdue. Yeah. <laughs> so glad Tom and Diane are here, having flown in from a higher elevation. And poor Kevin's at the dinner table looking for something that isn't vegetation. <laughs> <laughs> And Dan gave me a gift last year that was gift wrapped in the bunnies. <laughs> God rest ye merry gentle persons, let nothing you dismay, cause here comes Ollie through the door with a sweet potato puree. <laughs> <laughs> Polly walks in behind me, a wave and a deep voice, greetings. And remember a grand time at Shangri-La where there was more than ample seating. Um, and finally I'm thinking this year, into Christmas I'm going to put back Christ. Yes, that's exactly what I plan to do the minute I return from my latest Holly heist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah.